Fish is one of the best sources of food in Daisy, so as soon as you can, start fishing. Well, if you get lucky, you can find a fishing pole in a shed or outside by a boat. But as you can see with this fishing pole, you still gotta have a hook. The best way to get hooks is to kill a chicken and use the bones to create a hook. But let's say you don't have a fishing pole. You need to make one. Well, if you can find one long stick and a rope, you can craft your own fishing rod. Or if you do not have rope, you can always come over here, take two stacks of rags that you cut up from clothes that you find and you can craft your own rope. So it just takes a few seconds and you'll have a rope. Take that long stick that you cut from a bush or a tree, combine it with a rope, and now you're gonna craft an improvised fishing rod. This is the easiest way because it is difficult to find a pre-built fishing rod. All right, so now that we have this fishing rod, I'm gonna put it right there. Now, before you go fishing, uh, you're gonna need to get worms to put onto this fishing rod. So you're gonna need a knife or any type of sharp uh, object. Here's a knife or a hatchet or an ax. You're gonna need that to cut your rags and you're gonna need that to dig up worms. You're gonna need, a, a knife is pretty much essential for everything. So let's go right over here across the pond here. I've got a nice fire going, ready to start cooking some fish as soon as I catch some. But I have a pre-built fishing rod and I have one that I just made, but I have no worms. Take your knife or your hatchet, look into the ground and start digging up worms. All right, so we now have one worm here. We have improvised fishing rod. We have a real fishing rod. Now, I killed a chicken earlier and I got some bones. You have to take the bones into your hands and a knife. Combine them and you're gonna do an improvised hook. You can find some real hooks by boats and ponds sometimes, but anything with bones that you kill, you can do an improvised hook. All right, I'll put the rest of the bones up there. You take the hook, put it in your hands, you take the worm, you combine them. Now you have, uh, you craft improvised bait. So now I take my improvised rod, take my hook with bait, and now I'm ready to start fishing. Just sit back, enjoy your fire, you're getting warm, fishing. Oh, and already got a fish. Now, you gotta remember that if you gut a fish and you get blood on your hands and then you use your hands to drink water or anything, you're gonna get sick. The best way to prevent that is to have gloves. If you don't have gloves, take two rags together and you can uh, create improvised hand wrappings. So here's some rags that I cut up from some uh, clothes that I found. And then now I have these improvised hand wrappings. I will put there, put the fish into my hands, get my knife combined, and then now I'm gutting the fish and I don't have to worry about getting blood on my hands. You can do it without gloves, but if you do that, you gotta make sure you wash your hands after you do that. All right, so we have two fish fillets ready to cook, but I have no way to cook them because I don't have a uh, fireplace with racks, but I have a long stick that I have from a tree that I cut down here. Put the stick in your hand, you can take your hatchet or your knife and you can sharpen the stick because you'll need the sharpened stick to uh, put the fish at the end of the stick. All right, now we have a sharpened stick. Come over here, combine the fish with the stick, point the fish to the fire, click, cook your fish, Enjoy a nice fish fry and a beautiful daisy landscape. That's it. But as soon as you can, try to find the needed materials to go fishing. Catch you a few fish. This will last you a long time and not only gives you food, but it also hydrates you with some water. All right. Thanks for watching.